Hi, I'm Mark Sievers, and you're watching From My Kitchen to Yours. I'd like to welcome you to my newly renovated kitchen in Chicago. It is a small but mighty kitchen, and it's jam-packed with innovative design and space-saving ideas that maybe you can get some inspiration too. So, let's get started. So the first upgrade to my new kitchen is under cabinet lighting. I actually prefer to cook with the overhead lighting off and just utilize the under cabinet lighting. I feel like it adds a warmth and a glow and it makes it cozy in here, which I love. So I've added LED lights, really simple from home improvement stores. They're not even hardwired, they're just plugged in. And um, they really do add some personality and some glow, especially during a dinner party. Uh, my dining room is right out of this doorway, so not having bright lights on when people are sitting at the table really does also enhance the mood out there. Next up on my kitchen tour is my baking center. This is an area that I spend a lot of time at. Uh, because the kitchen is so small, I do have the kitchen organized into different sections, and the baking center actually has the largest single surface counter. So not only is this great for rolling out doughs and cookies and hauling out the big mixer, um, but it's also great for prep and for plating. I, my cabinets don't go all the way to the ceiling, so on top of the cabinets I store things like different cupcake liners, sprinkles and different cake decorating uh, accoutrements, um, as well as a cookbook stand and other larger appliances. Inside of the cabinet, right above, so it's easily accessible, I have all of my sugars and flours and backstock of different ingredients and then these I think are the most useful they're just plastic bins and this one has chocolate all kinds of chocolates and this one has all kinds of dried fruits and nuts again a little stepped uh, organizer here so that I can use my most used things in the front nutmeg vanilla cinnamon and everything is kind of uh, stepped back and then small little shelf. This lets me have easy access to room temperature butter, room temperature eggs, uh, great utensil crock. It's tall and narrow so it doesn't take up too much space but it's where I keep spatulas and um, of course measuring uh, things for pie crusts and tarts. Big large drawer, kitchen utensils, spatulas, whisks, uh, an abundance of <laughs> measuring spoons. It's a little embarrassing. Um, and these, I think, are just so innovative. They're little pop-up measuring cups. And they pop open and they store flat. So it just takes up a little bit less space. And then way underneath, I have got a great pull-out here. So different baking pans, different baking sheets, and I also store pieces of flat parchment paper under here which uh, fit perfectly for my half sheet pans. So that's just a great way to uh, organize. This works for my kitchen and you just have to figure out uh, what elements can work for yours and how to implement them. Moving right along is my pot rack and pegboard. So I've, I had this really great kind of column-esque wall in the kitchen so I decided to install a wonderful pot rack. I, store my largest uh, Dutch oven up here, tea kettle when I'm not using it, little cheese boards, my most used pots and pans, and then below it is a pegboard. The pegboard really does house my most used kitchen tools. Um, I find it really convenient to have this when I'm recipe testing to have things at my fingertips. And the best part about a pegboard is you can really make it fit any size wall in any size kitchen. So it's great for a small space like mine or a giant kitchen that you want to add maybe some warmth and personality to. Small but mighty fridge. So two big things that I changed about the fridge is I took out the crisper drawers and I used this for champagne and white wine storage. I put a little grippy mat down here to keep the bottles from rolling all over the place. And then I put all my fresh vegetables and produce on the shelves themselves so that I can see it. Like, here's a cabbage, <laughs> which I'll make something for dinner. The other great thing is I use these bins to organize different condiment groups. So this is 
um, olives and pickles, there's cheeses, there's one up here for all kinds of different jams. I just find this really useful for me. I didn't like the crisper drawers because I always forgot what was in them. So now that my produce is all front and center, I go through it more quickly and it reminds me of just what I have. And who doesn't want a champagne storage in their own fridge? Up next is a mirror. So I have this big wall at the end of my kitchen and without a mirror, for me, it would be so claustrophobic. This mirror really does reflect the window in the dining room. It lets all kinds of light in. And when I'm in the kitchen and there are people sitting at the table, if I'm cutting or chopping, they can see me and it's more of an interaction thing. So it's not just me hunkered down in the kitchen cooking. It's this wonderful reflection of light and brings a lot of personality. So I think one of the most genius things I did is I took all of my knives out of the original blocks they came in and I positioned them on a wall-mounted magnetic strip. This gives me more counter space, all of my knives are accessible, and it just makes things easy for storage. I also did the same thing to my spice racks. So I found these great spice racks online. They, two of them fit perfectly, and this is my dry spices and a lot of my uh, specialty oils and, and uh, other little salts and things. So just like my baking center and I store things on top of that cabinet, I also store things on these cabinets. Up top I have all of my grains and beans and uh, things stored in airtight uh, glass jars for easily accessibility and I can also see what I have, which for me is a great thing. And then of course all of my bottled water. So because I'm short, I have devised my own little plan and it's little grippy rubber tongs and I can literally get my water down et voila! So one of the major elements that I actually removed from its original space was this giant microwave. It took up this entire space and it wasn't very inspirational to look at. So I had it removed, I installed a glass shelf myself and uh, here I have my salts and oils and some cognac for cooking and uh, I relocated the microwave up above. I don't use one very often, but when I do, it's I have great access to it with a little step stool that I store on the side of the fridge. So one of the main features about this kitchen is I actually store only food in here behind all the cabinets. Um, I find it really easy because I have everything all in one place. And then the same thing goes for setting the table. I have everything out in the dining room in cabinets and a long buffet. For me, it works great and uh, certainly makes taking inventory of what I have to cook with a lot easier. That concludes my small but mighty kitchen tour. I hope you are taking away some great design and inspiration from my kitchen that you can implement into your kitchen. Until next time, I'm Mark Sievers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.